hi and welcome to the armchair review series. Um, today I'm looking at my Tokyo Marui M16VN. Current configuration, no battery, set to safe, no mag and no one behind the camera. The overall weight without a battery in the stock and without a mag is 5.5 pounds and that's 2.5 kilograms. The overall length from the back of the stock to the tip of the flash hider is 38 and 3 quarter inches. And that equates to 98.5 centimetres. The inner barrel, which obviously starts from the magwell, it finishes just as the flash hider starts, is 21 inches. And that equates to 53.5 centimetres. Now, the general feel of the Tokyo Maruri M16VN is very plasticky, um, and that's quite a good thing, really. Because my understanding is that when these were um, issued, um, a lot of the soldiers in Vietnam uh, referred to them as uh, the Martel Special um, and the Plastic Fantastic um, because it's the first time that these materials had been used. I don't know what these materials are. Um, they're pretty sturdy. I don't know if it's fiberglass or plastic. Solid stock contains the battery. It takes a large type battery. Also incorporated on the solid stock is the sling mount and the rubber butt plate. The butt plate looks as though it's screwed in, but on the Tokyo Marui M16VN you actually push it down and it will just unclip. And that leaves a massive cavern inside here for a large 8.4 volt battery. Now it's very easy to put a large 8.4 volt battery into this M16VN. Unlike the Tokyo Marui M14, that's quite difficult to get that size battery in the stock even though it's designed for it. This is a piece of cake. It just slides in. Obviously it's got the large battery connector and there's plenty of room in there. There's no fiddling around and it takes seconds to change the battery. Very nice. The pistol grip is uh, standard Tokyo Marui. Uh, M16 M4 type pistol grip, nothing unique or special about it. Moving up on the receiver, we've got the forward assist button. Now that is unique to the VN in that its design is different to the M4, M16, A2s, 3s, 4s, etc. As they just have a circle, this has a teardrop effect, which was the original design. The idea was that you put your thumb on it and press rather than having to push down the length of the button itself. Charging handle, this took me by surprise because on the Tokyo Marui M733 and other M4s I've got, this charging handle, when you pull it back, opens the ejection port, pulls a slide cover back and reveals the hop-up. This is very much like the Classic Armies in that it functions but does nothing at all. In order to get at the hop-up, the uh, ejection port cover needs to be pulled down and it's sprung in the up position, so you have to keep your finger on it to keep it down. Um, the plate that normally slides back is moulded plastic on this, so it stays in the same position. And then you can see the hop-up wheel. Now the hop-up wheel works as a normal hop-up wheel, turn it clockwise to engage the hop-up turn it anti-clockwise to disengage the hop-up. Uh, when you've set that, there's enough room in there just to get your finger in or a fingernail or a pointed pair of pliers to turn it. You let go and the cover pops back up. Um, mag release button, as on all the M16s, it's on this side. It's very easy to use. Magazine clips in. You want to release the magazine, push the button, the magazines come out. Now while we're on the magazines, the Tokyo Marui M16VN comes with a standard low cap mag with 60 rounds in it. 
The mags I have here are high cap mags, so they've got the little wheel. They're short mags, as uh, were the norm in the Vietnam era. And these ones hold 160 rounds each. Now what I've done is uh, take two of them together. So when one empties, you release the mag, rotate it 180 degrees and pop in a new fresh mag. Quick change really, it's a trick that I've seen on the movies and they did it in uh, Vietnam in real life. And then when you finish with that, you've just dumped that in a messenger bag or something that's got over your shoulder. Carry handle on the upper part of the receiver is again a unique feature for the M16 VN in that its styling is different from the M16A2s onwards and the M4s. The rear part, the sight part at the back is angled differently and has total different adjustments. In fact, this one only has adjustment for left and right nothing for elevation. It's made to look as though it's got a dial that you turn on the back of the handle but you don't. It's all moulded in. In order to move the sight between left and right positions you need to get a screwdriver into a screw on this side of the handle at the back and turn it. Um, the handle has a hole in the top and that's to mount handle rails or scopes. Um, I used to have a, a armoured scope, 4x mag on this, that's now on my M16A4.